Finally today, last month, the University of Nebraska's Institute of Agriculture and Natural Resources held their fall Hearman lecture titled Myth Busting, Cattle and Climate, a Discussion on Nebraska's Livestock and Environmental Footprint. This lecture took an in-depth look at how the cattle industry is currently impacting greenhouse gas emissions and ways to effectively neutralize them. We were fortunate enough to catch up with the event's keynote speaker, Dr. Fred Mitloner of UC Davis, to learn more about the presentation. When it comes to climate change, there are a number of contributing factors as far as greenhouse gas emissions are concerned. When we take a hard look at emission totals, it's apparent that the cattle industry does have some influence on these numbers. However, the Cattle and Climate Lecture strives to make some critical examinations of those totals and shed some light on some common misconceptions when dealing with reducing emissions tied to the cattle industry. Well, one misconception is that there are some people who say, ah, climate change is not happening. Well, guess what? It is happening. Another one is, yeah, livestock has nothing to do with it. That's a misconception. Livestock has something to do with it. We know how much, but we also know that these issues of producing greenhouse gases do not only pose an issue with respect to a liability, but they can actually, if treated well, be turned into an asset. So I do a lot of research on quantifying greenhouse gases, gases such as CO2, methane, nitrous oxide, these are all referred to as greenhouse gases. So I do research in quantifying those for beef, for dairy and other livestock species. And most importantly, we do a lot of research in reducing, how to reduce those gases. Because if you reduce them, you have an immediate impact on climate. And that's uh, the majority of what we do research-wise. CO2 or nitrous oxide. One of the big points of the lecture dealt with the flawed nature by which methane emissions have been quantified over the last few decades. Dr. Mitloner discusses newer quantification guidelines and the discrepancy between the two methods. Yeah, one of the biggest takeaways is that the way that one of the greenhouse gases, which is methane, the way that this gas has been quantified over the last 30 years was significantly flawed, significantly flawed, overblown by a factor of three to four. A recent IPCC, that's the Intergovernmental Panel for Climate Change, report uh, confirmed that, that if you use some of the antiquated ways of quantifying the impact of methane on warming, that you are getting a wrong impression of how important this sector is. And a new, a new way of quantifying methane is suggested by the IPCC as well as by our scientists. So this in no way is a form of greenwashing or so. This is using an appropriate scientific quantification method that is needed for us to see progress over time. Beyond the miscalculation of certain greenhouse gas emissions, the lecture panel, along with Dr. Mitloner, describe how we can move the cattle industry from a global warming carbon contributor to a greenhouse sink. That our soils have the ability to store a lot of carbon. Okay? This is called soil carbon sequestration. And what that means is that the plants that grow in the soil during photosynthesis, pull carbon out of the air. That carbon goes through the plant into the roots and from the roots into the soil with certain microbes. These microbes trap the carbon from the air and they keep them in the soil. And that's particularly working well under grazing conditions of which you have so much in Nebraska. The question to your university scientists is, to quantify those impacts, to quantify the ability of ranching to increase the pulling of carbon out of the air and trapping it, securing it, keeping it in the soil. Making healthy soils one of the most important toys, sorry, not toys, tools to keeping carbon locked away and not going into the air. Being one of the largest beef producing states in the U.S., Dr. Mitloner suggests Nebraska producers can play a key role in changing the perception of cattle production from a global warming contributor to a global cooling asset. It is a great state that has very uh, strong uh, livestock sectors, and it is extremely important for you to have fact-based information that leads to uh, effective public policy, effective regulations. Uh, because we all have one thing in common, and that is our goal to reduce humans' impact on climate. The livestock sector can be an important solution in this context, and 
in the next 10 to 20 years, we will show not just that we can re reduce impacts, but turn this industry into one that's not viewed as a challenge, but as an asset, not just producing food, but also helping us on the climate side.